This video is in response to a question that I saw on a forum on LinkedIn, but it's a pretty good one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we have a table here that's called period table. And notice how I have the period name like January through February, March through April and all that. And then I have a field that's called reports as, and that's what I actually want to show on the report. Uh, so, you know, the table could have more fields, but this is a, a, a basic thing. I have a, t a field with period and then I have a field for uh, what I want the, the sh report to show. Then I have a form with a simple pull down and the pull down is going to click from, from the is going to pick from that table, obviously. So let's go with November, December. Now, my hope is that the, um, the report would show, you know, December. We can always add the year in, in, in many ways, but I just wanted the, the report to show December. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick on the uh, preview report button. And if I look at the report, then the report does show December there. Just to show that it really works, I'm going to close that window, and then I'll pick on May and June. And now when I run the report, notice how the report says June. So let's take a look at the real solution here. I'm going to go back to design view on the report. And uh, here I just have a simple text box. And the text box uh, data source is, now there's multiple ways to do this. I'm looking at, I'm using a DLOOKUP. And the DLOOKUP is going to look up uh, the report as field in query one. So really the key is going to be query one. Let me uh, put a, a okay here. I'm going to right click on query one and I'll pick on design view. So here I have the table that has the uh, the pull down field and also the field that I want to show on the report. So I have both fields in the um, in the query here. Notice how I'm already displaying the report as field. But here's the real key. You see, I'm tying it back into the form. So whatever um, whatever uh, one they pick from the form, then that's the criteria. And then uh, we'll show the report as for that record. So when I run this query, it's going to say June right now. And that is what the report's going to look like. So let's take a look at design view again. By the way, the way I got this in here, I didn't type that in there. I used the expression builder. So I'm going to click on that uh, field for the period. And I'm going to go back to the expression builder. Probably one of the most powerful parts about Microsoft Access is the expression builder. And I'm going to go back into the form. All right, there's my form. And I know that the pull down box is called combo zero. So I'm going to double click on that. And then it puts the proper structure here in the expression builder. I mean, it's just a, it's such a powerful part about access. I'm going to click on OK. And now when I run the query, that gets the proper display field for the, the, uh, the pull down from the form. I'm going to save that query. The report is doing a DLOOKUP in that query to get that field. Now, there's many ways to do what I just showed you, but that way will work for you. And uh, let's, let's see the final result. I'm going to say yes there. So let's say this time I want to get this November, December. I'm going to click on the pull down, I mean the button that runs the report. And when I look at the report, it actually went back to the query and then it shows the proper it shows the proper uh, display for the item I used in the pull down.